Hey everybody, let's make a skater dress with cutouts, okay? I'm gonna start off by draping on my dress form using draping tape. The measurements you're gonna need for this is your neck circumference, you're gonna need your bust, your waist, and those are the measurements you're gonna need for this. Okay, grab your muslin and make a one inch mark from the end and we're gonna line that muslin up on in the mid right in the middle and we're going to pin it in place I'm gonna use the pens so that my muslin won't slide and that's what the, the line is for to make sure we keep the design straight okay and then we're gonna use our muslin to make our darts we're going to make a bust dart and a waistline dart and then we're going to grab our sharpie and then trace our draping tape And now we're going to do the same thing for the back. Okay, now we're going to work on a neck collar. And what we're going to do is pin it in place, make sure it's aligned right. And then we're going to cut little slits in the bottom so that it can fit right. So to release some of that tension. Not sure if you guys can see it, but where I'm pointing is where the apex is. So that's basically where your nipple would fall. And then I'm going to go ahead and straighten out my darts. My darts are approximately like one inch wide. And I'm going to go ahead and straighten those out and straighten out all my lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a half inch seam allowance to the entire pattern piece. And I'm going to do the same thing to each pattern piece. Add a half inch seam allowance and straighten out all the lines. Okay, here is the pattern piece. I've added a half inch seam on. Pay no attention to that. I moved the dark around. So the dark is now in the black. And it's one inch wide. That's it, each dark. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the back pattern piece. Add a half inch seam allowance um, all around. Put it back on the dress form and mark your notches. Take your natural waistline and then whatever that answer is, divide it by 3.14. Take that number and go down from the top corner and pivot. Oh, and by the way, we're working with the fullness of the fabric. Also from that bottom line that you made already, decide how long you want your skirt to be and take the dress form around and pivot it also and mark how long you want your skirt to be. Okay, next we're going to cut the lining. We're just going to go ahead and use the skirt that we just cut out to make the lining. And I'm just going to peel the skirt back just a little bit to make the lining a little um, shorter than the actual skirt. Okay, 
Next, we're going to make the waistband. So I have the fabric on the fold. And you're going to take your waist measurement and divide it by 2. Whatever the answer is. Divide it by 2 and then add 3 inches to it. You can make a waistband however wide you want it. I made mine's about three inches. We're going to add interface into the waistband so it won't stretch out the waistline. Okay, I have my waistband and I have my my skirt and the slip and the um not the slip the um the lining so i'm just gonna put those uh pin those on the side and together on the side and i'm going to fold them together and find the middle point when i find the middle i'm just going to mark it with my chalk or you could snip it with the scissors Whichever. then i'm going to do the same thing with the waistband. Fold it in half and then mark the middle point. What I'm going to do first before I test this, I'm going to do a stay stitch right here at the top of this. So right there at the top, a small a stay stitch right there at the top. Okay, right here where we mark those markings with the midpoint, we're going to go ahead and put the right sides together. So the facing, the interfacing is facing up, and we're gonna match those center point. And then we're gonna pin it in place. This pin, let's go ahead and sew it. Okay, we're gonna move along to the top, and so what we're gonna do is go ahead and trace it so that we can move the pattern pieces in onto paper. Here is the back pattern piece, and with the darts not in, you see it's way too big. So when I measured this, I knew that I needed my dart to be at least two inches wide. So this dart is actually two inches of big dart. So we can go down and match the size of this. So that's the size of that dart. And this dart here is just an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to cut. This is on the fold. I'm going to cut the front piece on the fold and then cut two of these. And then for the neck band, I'm going to cut it on the fold. Then I'm going to flip it over and cut it on the fold again for the back part. I pin my darts in place and I'm going to do the same thing to the lining. And then I'm going to sew those darts down. And I made sure that when I put my dart in place, it measured up with the other pattern, the side pattern piece of the tail fit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the lining. Also, another tip, because this is not a stretch material, the part around the neck would be too wide. So what I've done, I've added darts at the top, basically folding it in half and then folding those halves in half and making the dart down the middle and I, the dart is about three inches long and so it'll be a dart up top so when i okay, the darts are in place and been pressed down so i'm just gonna pin the outer fabric together and then we're going to get ready to connect the lining after that the same thing to the lining pin it all together separately okay so what i'm going to do is i pin the right sides together the lining to the original fabric i am i'm going to sew Along the sides, I'm going to skip the top parts because I have to connect it to the band. bulk. So I'm just going to leave those there and then I'm going to do the sides only and not the bottom. Okay, once I've sewn those parts that I told you about, go ahead and turn this baby inside out. Okay guys, so I thought I could get away without the bottom darts some strange reason but anyway <laughs> listen to your pattern when you design it because that's the reason it's there so listen um right here is where my apex would be 
and that's exactly where my pen is right up in there and so the thing is I'm going to go ahead and utilize my darts I'm going to go ahead and pin my mark my darts on here like I should have done in the first place just listen and I'm going to put my darts in both right here in the apex following the pattern and I'm going to put it in the lining then I'll show you guys when I'm done okay they are in my darts are in place so when I did them I'm going to do a basting stitch right at the bottom to keep everything in place cutting this neck strip on the bias this um this ruler here I want it to be the width of that and that's about uh four this is four inches wide so uh -oh. so I'm just gonna start up here Okay, up next we're going to take our next strip and we're going to fold it in half and put a little nip so we'll know where the halfway point is. Then we're going to do the same thing to the top bodice part. Then we're going to pin it together at the top, matching those halfway points. And we're going to pin right sides together. Because what we're going to wind up doing is folding it back over and closing that up. Okay, to pin the armholes in place, we're going to measure over three and a quarter inches from the neck, the end of the neck um, part, and then we're going to pin the armholes in place. Then I'm just gonna sew those right in place. Okay, our next step is to take the necktie and turn it over and then just fold the necktie down on top and cover the seam. And that's all you need to do, put it in place. Okay, on this next part, all I did was grab a needle and thread and did an invisible stitch to keep that in place and so that you would not see a seam line on the outside. All right, I'm going to take the top and with the working with the right sides together and the bottom of the top and the top of the waistband, pin it together. I'm going to leave the opening in the middle open because I'm going to leave an open little slit in the front right there in the middle, about three inches on each side. All right, I've sewn the sides down, but I left open that middle part where we're going to have a little um, open space, the little cutout thing. And so what I'm going to do is just fold it over, maybe about a half an inch or a little less, and pin it in place and then sew that part down. Okay, on the bottom half of the waistband, I winded up using a heat bond just to, I wouldn't have a seam line going through the waistband, but I did stitch the top half that belongs to the top of the open cutout part. I just put it on the bottom half. Okay, and next we're going to work on the zipper. We're going to go ahead and turn it inside out and no side seam. We're going to go ahead and pin it together and then we're going to put a... Uh, basting stitch along the side so that we can go ahead and insert our zipper. Go ahead and put that zipper in and we're almost done.
Okay, once the zipper is in place, go ahead and take the basting stitches out so that you can expose the zipper. And then we're just going to go down the top of the zipper to sew it in place right after that. And then I am going to move along to the bottom of the skirt. I'm gonna finish up those raw edges with my overlock machine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hem it. All right, I finished off that hem. And next we're gonna go move along and put some hook and eyes on the top of the zipper. And we are done and I'll show you guys in a minute. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel.